Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, breaking news this morning, a Lookout Mountain restaurant has gone up in flames. Firefighters responded to the cafe on the corner around 445. No injuries were reported. WRCB reports that the building once served as the area's grocery store in the early 1900s. The fire appeared to be contained to the cafe. We'll have more updates as they develop at timesfreepress.com. Next, a teen tied to a shopping cart has drowned in a lake in North Georgia. Officials say 18-year-old Chance Werner of Cartersville died just hours after graduating from high school. He was tied to the shopping cart and pushed into the lake as part of a game with friends. The cart was supposed to be tied to a pole and fling the person sitting inside into the water. But instead, the cart was tied to Werner and it pulled him under. The incident happened at Lake Alatoona, about 35 miles northwest of Atlanta. Werner's body was found early Sunday in about 30 feet of water. He was still tied to the cart. The incident remains under investigation. A century-old mill in Chickamauga, Georgia is being demolished. Crystal Springs Printworks closed last summer after 106 years in business. Now the fabric mill's massive buildings will be taken down and upscale homes may be built on the land. Crystal Springs President Steve Tarvin says he sold the buildings in late March to a group of architects from Atlanta and Florida. It will take about two years to salvage the building materials and clear the land. Chattanooga's waterfront revitalization is sinking into the Tennessee River. In less than a decade, a 1,000-foot portion of the 21st century waterfront has sunk six inches in several places. It's all due to undershore erosion. River water seeping past a layer of rock is pulling part of the riverbank away. The solution is steel sheets driven up to 20 feet into the ground. It's estimated to cost taxpayers $9 million. All this after court records revealed the city ignored early signs of trouble at the waterfront in 2004 and more alerts in 2005 as the park was set to open. The new fix will be put out for bids this week. The city council should approve the winner this summer and construction is slated to begin in November. Officials say the work should take about six months. Hamilton County is now ranked as the worst county in Tennessee for crashes involving young drivers. And Bledsoe County has been ranked the safest in the state. The crash rate there is almost five times lower than it is here. A man who was wounded in a drive-by shooting over the weekend refused any medical attention. Police say 38-year-old James McCracken was shot early Saturday. He said he was standing outside a home on Jeffrey Lane when he heard gunshots. Then he realized he had been shot in the leg. He told authorities he didn't know who the shooter was. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. A downtown hotel accidentally overbooked more than 100 rooms for the Ironman triathlon in September. The Sheridan Reed House blames the mistake on a computer error. General Manager Jen Perpich says some customers used a third-party booking tool called Passkey while others booked the same rooms again by calling the Reed House directly. The hotel didn't realize the mistake until it tried to enter the passkey bookings into its own system. The mistake sent many customers into a rage. At least one contacted the mayor's office and others threatened to sue. Now the Reed House says all of its customers have been placed into new hotels, though not everyone likes the idea of staying further from downtown. The Reed House says it's working to ensure that similar mistakes don't happen again. The foster mom of a two-year-old girl who died in Catoosa County has been charged with murder. Clara Louise Edwards was arrested Friday in Chattanooga after the GBI determined that Sahara Weatherspoon died of brain trauma and the manner of death was homicide. Sahara died January 1st from injuries suffered in what a foster parent described as a fall down some stairs. The girl's foster parents waited seven hours before seeking medical treatment. Finally, a woman who worked at an area restaurant has been charged with stealing more than $4,000 from the business. 40-year-old Lindy Ladd Brennan of Stevenson, Alabama worked at Jack's Restaurant in Henniger. She was charged with first-degree theft of property and booked into the DeKalb County Jail. 
Turning to weather, today will be partly sunny with a high near 87 degrees and a 30% chance of thunderstorms after 1 p.m. The low tonight will be around 65. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.